Hello and welcome to another Sell My Comic Books unboxing. Uh, as you can see, I'm not Sean, I'm Ashley. I'm the guy that buys all the stuff in the box. <laughs> Sean, for once, is holding the camera and, and we're both nervous about that because I don't know how that's going to go. Hello. Um, as usual, thank you. As <laughs> usual, we're going to uh, unbox a comic book collection. Normally, Sean would say, I have no idea what's in the box, but I bought it so I know exactly what's in the box. Uh, but see, I don't know what's in the box. Okay, so you'll be surprised and I'll, I'll act surprised. Okay, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> challenge for me is going to be not cutting myself into ribbons with this dangerously blunt knife. <laughs> that orange knife is a celebrity, by the way. It's it's in every video. Yeah. Exciting. <laughs> this is a uh, a two box collection, but we'll do it in two parts probably. There's six puzzles in there. Yeah, it's it's filled to the brim. Looks like. That's like what I do. Exactly. You got it. I've been watching. Oh yeah, you've seen enough of these videos. In fact, Ashley does all the editing. Yeah. I feel like I know you. So I know you're famous, so you wouldn't talk to me. <laughs> I'm, a like... I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a YouTube celebrity. We have something like 300 subscribers now. <laughs> it's growing fast. Yeah. It should, I like it to grow faster, so please subscribe. I really would just like to make videos and not have to sell comic books anymore for a living. <laughs> but we have to buy comic books to make videos, so yeah. they go hand in hand. Oh. <clears throat> Although we do have some, uh, this summer we're going to be doing some really fun videos. I don't want to tell you exactly what they are and ruin the surprise, but you, you definitely want to like check out, a, keep an eye on our channel, so there's going to be some cool stuff we're going to be doing. Yeah, if you're up. a fan of West Coast Avengers or Excalibur, <laughs> you probably don't want to check it out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not giving anything away by saying that. Oh, this is interestingly packaged. They left them in it, bags. It's, it's over overpacked. Yeah, they sure. used freezer bags, I think. Oh man, I hate freezer bags. Mm. Alright, what do we got here? Okay. Oh, is each one in a freezer bag? Are you kidding me? Oh. Oh man, this is going to take forever to open up. Oh, they're all taped together as well. Just, just pull the tape off. Right. Venture. Oh, Forbidden Love, that's cool. It's a rag. Yeah, but it's, it's still. It's got really bad spine roll, but that could be fixed. Yeah, we're going to be doing a little course on how to fix that. Yep, that's Coming next month, right? We're doing a whole bunch of, of things, in fact. We're quite ahead of our time coming for deals, I'd say. So, it's been a while since we got a collection of romance in mid-grade. Maybe we'll get a... Uh, That's actually pretty cool. Maybe we'll get a... Uh, a CGC certification, yeah. sort of like, you know, maybe... Uh, it'll be a pedigree. <laughs> this is, is this going to be the next pedigree? I don't know. This is, there's a lot of weird sci-fi from the 60s here. Why did I buy this? There must be some a good reason I bought this. Quite. I ask that every time I open a box, and then it becomes evident. Yeah, okay. From beyond the unknown. God, I'm gonna look forward to opening all these uh, freezer bags. You mean Scott and Jeff will? Oh yeah, let's leave it to them. Or Sean. Jeff. Strange sports stories. Woo! Strange adventures. Oh, hang on. Strange adventures. I wonder if there's a. Uh, Key issues in here. Supergirl. They're in pretty decent shape. All right. It's kind of find a very fine. Is there a number one? Um, no, it doesn't look two like number it. fives. They're going in the wrong direction. Yeah, I'm thinking there might be a key bundle somewhere. Mm. Uh, more Supergirl adventure. This will do well though. All this stuff's going to show up on eBay eventually. I'm supposed to say that, right? You can say whatever you want. Okay. Just don't talk bad about Spawn. I've never <laughs> ever talked badly about Spawn. Savage Dragon, though, that is, that is a rag. <laughs> Good thing uh, the other Sean's not here, them fighting words. <laughs> it's like, them be fighting words. Yeah. Oh, dear. 
No, Sean's a punk rocker. He's a band. Did you know that? No. Yeah. He's actually gonna do our theme music. We gonna we gonna theme music? Yeah. He knows we need like a radio jingle, right? So my comic books stop calm. Something like that. <laughs> no, it's gonna be like the hip. Maybe 182 or whatever. 182. All the all the um um the millennials are just gonna love it. Mm. All the hipsters. Seven of them. What the? Yeah. Hang on, this is gonna be tape on the side here. Ah, it's a badly packaged. Yeah, it's, it, you, you, it doesn't seem like it, but you can't over package books. And this is the perfect example of that. Flash. That's pretty nice for a 20. I mean, that will do well. Like 20 cent DCs actually do it well. Flashes do good. I mean, the show, the TV show is helping. Hmm. Secret Origins. You know, I'm gonna. I, we never see these books in this kind of condition. I'm gonna be honest. That's because I never buy them. No. And that's because no one else ever buys them either. Oh, here we go. Here, here's a key coming up. Not that one. Not that one. one. Oh, okay. I'm getting ahead of you. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. It's a drug issue. Nice. One of them. Neil Adams. Mm. Someone actually read this, unfortunately. Mm. It's, it's about a six-five. That's probably worth certifying. You can put that off to the side. Yeah. yeah. Jimmy Olsen, oh my god, my favorite title. <laughs> Superman. Mm-hmm. Is that an Aladdin cover? No. No. I don't know my artists as well, I know my key issues. That, you know, Scott and Sean are really good at that. Foot fetishist, that's a nice, <laughs> Foot fetishist. <laughs> nice issue there. Foot fetish cover. Yeah. That's what it says on the CGC label. Probably. That's an underground flamethrower cover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason you're not behind the camera too often, you know that, right? Kissy face cover. Yeah. I, I should work at CGC. I could, I could, you know. That would be more interesting. Dude, I, if, if my only job was just to come up with features. That's a 15 if, cent Superman. That's in decent shape. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Do you tell people to actually put all their books in bags? No, I, and I don't. Okay. That's Neil Adams. Yeah, it is. And if it's not, just, you know, you can mention in the comment if we're wrong. When I edit, edit it, I just cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> I can make myself look perfect. You know? <laughs> okay. Now, it's not a very exciting collection so far, I have to say. It's a good period. No, it's exciting. I mean, if you like mid-grade DC from the 70s. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, if you had a sharp knife, I mean, yeah. See, you guys, you're watching this. You you think, oh, this, this, they're just, this is just an act. They don't really act like this. I'm like, no, we 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 totally act like this. This is this is is not acting. We're toning it down for the camera. So Ashley's, he's actually from Montreal originally. He's well, no, he's originally from England. I was gonna say. And, 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 and the then, origins of that. The origin. <laughs> <laughs> so he's uh, then he moved to Canada, and so he's he's visiting from just outside of Montreal, yeah. to our beautiful state of Maine. That's where I do all the buying. So it's exciting for me to get my hands on comics. I never do. Because I can't get hands on these. Yeah, he's stuck inside these. He, he gets to look at lots of lots of lists. Yeah. I am the list master. And I get to do all the fun stuff like opening books and. Oh, this is a little earlier. Oh, yeah. The condition is, 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 is good. That, I don't think I've ever seen that cover before. Well, freezer bags are like mylar, though. Everything looks better with a freezer bag. <laughs> <laughs> it will stay fresh. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'll put this to one side because it's probably worth certifying. No. No? Okay. I'm pretty picky about what I certify these days. Yeah. After a shaky start. Yeah, I remember. Back in the day, I would certify anything. And I was just like, why are you certifying that? Everything looks better in a CGC holder, too. 
Uh, we've got some, hopefully, action 419 will be in here. So. Oh. Let's skip it. Yep. Mm. 423. Oh no, it's all over the place. Could be there. 417. Those are, a lot of, those are all going to be worth selling individually. Okay. Because they're, they're pretty nice. They're like VF. 415. 420. Come on. The uh, classic Superman Genie cover. Everyone knows that one. It's the first time I've seen it. I've never seen it. No. You, you were lying. <laughs> I was lying. I just have to fill the time while you're struggling with the tape. Tell me about it. Chamber of Darkness. There's no good 70s horror, is there, apart from Tomb of Dracula? Not really. In fact, I think a lot of those are reprints. Mm, strange. Yeah, that's not bad. Better than average, really. That's okay. kind of late. Yeah. Crypt of Shadows number one. The, the condition of these um, is, is, you know, not bad. Considering they obviously weren't bagged and bought it. No. Ooh. Two copies of Crypto Shadow number four. Mm -hmm. Now we can retire. <laughs> number three. <laughs> Throngor. Creatures on the loose. God, this... Does anyone collect this? Oh, Conan 100. That's not worth anything. No, I know. Why does it go in that pile? I don't know. <laughs> that pile's getting bigger. Oh, uh, okay. Right. This is, is going to be a long video. I know. I'm not as good at this as you. I'm, I haven't had as <laughs> much practice cutting open. Well, you can edit out some of the like struggles of... Um, although that's when the best commentary is going on. So I'm guessing we can't afford a new knife blade. <laughs> Things must be bad right here. <laughs> It's not, the, it's not the sharpness of the knife blade, it's how you use it. You're not the sharpest tool in the shed, sure. <laughs> so 100% of the time I've opened the wrong end first. <laughs> You're batting 100, or 1,000. Yeah, 1,000, that's how it'd be, right? I don't I'm not, know. A, I'm not a big, I'm not a, yeah, me neither. I'm British, we don't know what baseball is. <laughs> World Series at a sport that only gets played in the States. Just did that Oh, shoot. <laughs> this video's gonna be cut into two videos. I just accidentally hit the button. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, gold key, everyone's favorite. <laughs> How nice is it? Dark Shadows. They're not bad. Oh, yeah, okay. This stuff's normally thrashed. Yeah. Are those stickers on there, or is that the actual price? I think that's how they printed the price. Oh no, you're right. Okay. Is that number one? <laughs> Could Maybe be. Not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> okay. Honestly, like it's it's not going to make a lot of difference, is it? Does anyone collect this? Don't be dissing on Dark Shadows. I'm not. I'm just asking. I asked a question. <laughs> yeah, but you, but you said that in a way like, well, I know if you that, do, you shouldn't be. But it was kind of like, <laughs> oh, Golki Star Trek. You see, I get excited about Golki Star Trek. Yeah, um, those are beat, though. Why couldn't they be as nice as the Dark Shadows? Because somebody actually read them. Mm. Well, that one's nicer. Yeah. Of course, we don't know which issue number it is. No. Yeah. Whose idea was that? I would have fired him. Turok. Hmm. Oh, the Twilight Zone. I thought the Twilight Zone was really good television. The old one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's alright. Sean? No, but Sean's a big fan. There's some really good stories. There was one story where... Uh, this guy had this really weird contraption in his basement and he had to look after it. And this journalist was doing a story on him and how crazy he was and, and he knocked over a little piece of it and he said, that island's going to disappear and sure enough the guy was driving he heard this new story that this island disappeared and so he knew it was for real. And then the old guy dies and the journalist takes over his job. And it's better when you see it in person. <laughs> Trust do you, me. Do you ever see that Twilight Zone where the, there's two guys and they start a business selling comic books for a living? 
Oh, yeah, no, I, I'm sure no one's that stupid. <laughs> that never happens. No. <laughs> All right. We have two miles to go. I'm going to just take a chance and flip this one over. Okay. I have been wrong. Living on the edge. I've been wrong four times out of four. You know, I'm, I'm going to eat an apple without washing it, too. I'm, I'm kind of crazy. Wow. Well, hope it's organic, though. <laughs> Look at that, 100%. Oh, man. <laughs> that's funny. It's becoming spooky now. That's an episode of the Twilight Zone. The man that always puts his comic books the wrong way up. <laughs> this job is not very good for the environment. We do, we do our best to recycle here. And reuse. We Re reuse a lot of bubble wrap. Yeah, oh, Hulk. We're, we're, okay. the ones, we're the ones who create the demand for all this crap. Right? <laughs> right? Uh, don't remind me. I don't know. I don't like that tump, the, the, the number there. Two, 236 is really I know, It's nothing. going in the wrong direction, too, yeah. I think. 271 is a minor key, and there's a couple of minor keys. First, UFOs. Uh... First quasar around the 250 nut, nut, I think. Okay, you'll know it when you see it. Uh, it will say on the cover what it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't think we're going to find a whole 181 in here, though. No. 236. That's in nice shape. Yeah, but it's a 40 center. I know. It's saying though, if you're going to have a 40 center hole, you want it to be in nice shape. Oh, that's shape. it. There's only two. Oh, all right. Well, thanks for coming. <laughs> you Hulk fans, you can tune out now. Is, uh, he was just kidding. You should hang around. Yeah, I don't think anyone's actually going <laughs> to listen to me. Chamber of Chills, more 70s horror. Love it. I love 20 cent marvels. Is that a key? Mm, not that I know of. Isn't, isn't um... Fear 19 is a key. Oh, is that the first man thing? No, no, no first, man, first, first man thing. God, no, that's much earlier. No, Fear 19 is the first How of the Dark. Oh, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Oh, well, that's a cool cover. Yeah, it's beat to hell, though. Yeah. Bernie Wrightson cover. Yeah. He just died. Did he? Mm-hmm. Ah, no one invited me to the funeral. Oh, a moment of silence. Okay. <laughs> Long enough? Yeah. And then there's the world's finest in there. Okay. Everyone loves world's finest. Mm-hmm. Not. World's... Oh! Crappiest. Is that a Neil Adams cover? Um... No. No. I always think everything's in the island. So <laughs> as you can see, I'm not <laughs> good at that. Forbidden Tales of Dark Mansion. Midnight Tales. Charlton. I haven't seen a single key issue yet, have you? No. Nope. Oh, well, there's that one, the Green Lantern one. Ghost I wonder how much money they spent on freezer bags, these guys. <laughs> Must be like 50 bucks. Okay. Which way up? This way? Or this way? You know what? Last time, this way was the wrong way, so we're going to go this way. Okay. Drum roll. <laughs> Come on. I'm trying to, trying to sneak a look. <laughs> when the books aren't excited, the things we do to entertain ourselves. Hey! You got it? Yeah. Um, Alright, well there you go. Oh, how unexpected. The unexpected. <laughs> Why didn't I get to open the uh, $30,000 collection? Why am I opening this? <laughs> hey, you, you, you said, didn't you say before this, at the beginning of this vid, that you knew what was in this box? Yeah, but clearly I was wrong about that. <laughs> Actually, I did get to do the um, the unboxing, kind of unboxing of the uh, oh, yeah, that, C collection. Yeah, we bought that $40,000. Yeah, so I shouldn't complain. No. Oh, man. I mean, we got to unbox it here, too, but we just didn't do a video of it. Oh, 
finally. Okay, unexpected, unexpected, unexpected. Boy, this is a crappy collection so far. I mean, it's cool stuff you don't see very often, but there's a reason why we don't see stuff very often. Unexpected. Big round of unexpected. Yep. I wasn't expecting this. No. Didn't we already use that joke? Yes. No, okay. We being no, me. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Witching hour. The, the hour is upon us. Okay. Witching hour. We should have held this back and have a Halloween special. <laughs> oh. Well, that's kind of cool. Isn't that a reprint it's, of something? It looks exactly no, that's, like No, that's something. a Neil Adams cover. Okay. That is a Neil Adams cover. See, I didn't even think it was a Neil Adams cover. Oh, no. That's a Neil Adams cover. Um, yeah, probably. That's not. No. Okay, and that's it. World's finest. So, thanks for coming. How did you do this, Sean? Let me go. Let me get it right. Thanks for coming to another one of the uh, Sell My Comic Books Vintage Unboxing. Uh, please subscribe. Check us out on eBay, and please look at our website, sellmycomicbooks.com. Thank you very much, and see you next time.